Hello, it's Maggie Bullock here. This tutorial is to teach you how to do the invisible join. You will need a wool needle which has a large eye and a blunt end. You can pick them up at Spotlight. I've got quite a few that I'll bring along to our next um, group. We'll start. I've already this sample here. I'm ready to do the next stitch. Double crochet or treble. Make the stitch. And then measure your length, the length of your crochet hook, a smidgen more. Cut your yarn. Yes, you do. You cut it. Snip. And the next thing you do is pull it right through. Right through, just like that. Then you thread your yarn through your wool needle. Like so. We're going to be bringing the yarn from the back to the front into this second stitch, not the first one, that's the first one there. That's a standing stitch or it could be three chains, whichever one that you're using. And it goes into the next stitch, the top two loops that you normally work into when you're crocheting. You're coming from the back through those top two loops. Pull your, pull your yarn through, all the way through. Now you're going to take it back down that where you came from, where the yarn came from, just here. Back down there, but you're going through that one. Back through the top of that. And down through the next bit. Pull your yarn through. And there you have your invisible join. It's done. Easy as that. This forms the top of that stitch. It forms um, a, a um, I guess, a faux beginning to that stitch. So there. And then when you're finished with this, you can bring it along here. I'll teach you how to do this in each class anyway. You won't be left to do it on your own. You go through it again and again and again at the end of every every block. That's your invisible join. How's that? Okay, happy crafting.